Today we're going to talk about how to set up a switch interface for the iPad, allowing students who use switches to interact with the iPad games and apps. What we're going to use is the AbleNet Bluetooth. Uh, it is Bluetooth capable, meaning you don't need to use external wires to hook it up into the iPad. It has two switches, S1 and S2, the white and orange on top. And if you need to connect to external switches, uh, they have some jacks in the back that you can connect those in. For today's video, go ahead and make sure that it's charged up and that this button is in the on position. Now that our blue two is on, we need to go ahead and connect it to the iPad. So we'll go to settings and then under Bluetooth, we'll turn it on and it's gonna look for the device. If your blue two is on, it should find it. And there it is, go ahead and press it and it should connect automatically. And there it goes. Next, we're gonna go under general and then accessibility right here in the middle. So the accessibility feature we're looking for is under interaction and switch control. And here's the main menu where iOS all has all its different features for using switches. There's a lot of stuff here uh, we'll get to it in other videos, but for our purposes, we just want to go under switches and then add new switch. So it's an external switch that we're connecting. Um, we might do another video on camera switches and screen switches, uh, but we'll save that for a later date. So external. And here's the part where you want to go ahead and use your external switch. So the S1 button, go ahead and press that. And the blue two talks to the iPad and says, hey, I'm here. We'll go ahead and name it blue one. So these are all the menu options that iOS has for scanning and, and interacting with the system in general. Now these really only work on the iOS homepage and wherever you scan through different apps to select the one you want and certain iOS apps. Uh, most of these don't work for the large majority of apps out there. So it really doesn't matter what we pick on this one because we're gonna assign our switches to something else when we make a recipe, which we'll talk about in another video. So for now, we can just pick any one. So let's just try select item for switch number one. All right, we have another switch on our Bluetooth. So we'll add another switch. Go to external again, and this time we'll press down S2. It picks it up, and we can name it blue two. Again, we can pick anything here because we're not really gonna use them just yet. So how about just move to next item? All right, so we have both of our switches hooked up. In another video, uh, we can look at recipes. So actually using these switches to do something in an app that uh, is not designed for using the switches, which is a lot of fun.